good morning my dear students welcome to the second session of antennas and wave propagation in the last class we discussed about what is antenna what is dipole antenna its working principle and we also learned about the terminologies of an antenna if you could recollect antenna is nothing but a piece of wire or hollow conducting rod capable of radiating electromagnetic waves or capable of receiving electromagnetic waves so dipole is nothing but a piece of wire or it is also it could be also hollow conducting rod but the maximum length of this would be equal to lambda by 2 where lambda is the length of, uh, wavelength of the electromagnetic wave radiated by the antenna so then we saw the terminologies of an antenna so what is isotropic antenna isotropic antenna is the antenna which is capable of radiating energy uniformly in all the direction then we saw what was polarization polarization is nothing but the direction of electric field with respect to earth there are two kinds of polarization that is vertical polarization and horizontal polarization if the electric field is parallel to earth then it is called as horizontal polarization if the electric field is perpendicular to earth then it is called as vertical polarization radiation pattern it is a graph that is showing the variation of energy emitted by the antenna in all points which are equidistant from the antenna that means to say that it is the graph of energy distribution then what we saw was directivity directive gain so directive gain is nothing but the ratio of radiation intensity produced by the test antenna to the radiation intensity produced by the reference antenna in the same direction if you take the ratio between the maximum radiation intensity emitted by the test antenna to the maximum radiation intensity emitted by the reference antenna then that is called as directivity the power gain is nothing but the ratio between the power radiated by the antenna to the actual input power fed into the antenna that is power gain next what we saw was radiation resistance radiation resistance is the value of the resistance which when connected in series with the antenna which emits the same amount of power which is radiated by the antenna then what we saw was antenna efficiency the ratio between the radiation resistance and the total resistance is called as the efficiency of the antenna or it could be the ratio between power radiated by the antenna to the power input at the antenna so next what we saw was half power beam width half power beam width is the angular separation between two points where the power emitted by the antenna is half of the maximum band at last we saw what is the bandwidth so bandwidth is nothing but the range of frequencies over which the antenna can work satisfactorily these are the things which we learned in the last class in today's class we will be learning about what are antenna arrays and the classification of antenna arrays and we also see some of the application of antenna arrays as usual at the end of the session to test our knowledge we'll have some mcqs that is multiple choice questions now before going to antenna arrays so now yavadadru ond kelsavanna madbekadre so obbun kayalli agilla antandre nav en martivi so innobbarna avare adakke add martivi so ibbru kayallo agilla antandre en martivi mattobbarna aa kelsa madodakke join martivi so adhe tara illo ashte antenna arrays andru kuda so what is the function of antenna the function of antenna is to radiate the energy is to emit the energy in the form of radiation so in the desired manner namage bekagiro tara so energy na radiate madodu antenna kelsa when I, one antenna is not sufficient only one antenna ee kelsa vanna correct agi madtilla athwa one antenna ge ee kelsa vanna madodakke shakti illa avaga nav en madtivi so ondakkinta jaasti antenna na ottige serustivi in order to get the desired characteristics so now radiation pattern odidirala 
ಸೊ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನೋ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋ ತರ ಸೊ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆಂಟೆನಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಹೆಂಗಂದ್ರೆ ಹಂಗ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಅರ್ರೈ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅರ್ರೈ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾಸ್ ಅರ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅರ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಅರ್ರೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅರ್ರೈಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅರ್ರೈಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋ ತರ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಎಮಿಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಆಂಟೆನಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಒಂದು ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅರ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ when individual antenna is not capable of meeting the desired characteristic what we do is we group more number of antenna so that our directional characteristics can be obtained from that group of antennas so such a group of antennas is called as antenna arrays okay is it clear so antenna array antandre group of antennas which is which is used to meet the directional i mean desired directional characteristics okay so there are two types of array antennas eradu tara array antennas idave parasitic array matte driven array so array antandre gottide nimge so more than one antenna iruthe okay so iga array antandre eradu antenna irabodu moor antenna irabodu naalak antenna irabodu aidu antenna irabodu aatt irabodu so depending upon our requirement we can have any number of antennas okay so illi irthakanta ella antennas gunu input anna kodbeku okay so if all of them are supplied with the energy source and all the radiating elements radiating elements are nothing but your antennas ella antennas gunu nanu energy source anna kottidini antandre adanu en anta karithivi driven array anta karithivi okay so driven array is nothing but an antenna array in which all the elements of the array are connected to a, an energy source example broadside array agirbodu athava end fire array agirbodu so innondu parasitic array so parasitic array nalli ella elements ku nanu direct agi energy source anna kottirodilla so one element ge kodo energy supply innond element ge kodo energy supply mele enagutte depend agutte so eradu ondu major difference enappa parasitic array matte driven array ge antandre driven array nalli ella radiating elements athava ella antennas ku nave en madirtivi so input anna kodtivi that is energy source anna connect maartivi okay so whereas in parasitic array not all the elements are directly connected to the energy source the feed of one element depends on other element in the array so one element ge kodo feed innond element ge kodo feed mele enagutte depend agutte andre ella source gunu i mean ella antennas gunu energy source anna direct agi navu connect madodilla anta elements na enanta karithivi navu parasitic elements anta karithivi okay so yav elements ge direct agi energy source connect agiralvo anta elements ge navu parasitic elements anta karithivi okay so and the array is called as parasitic array so best example is our yagi uda antenna so in the next session you will be learning about what is yagi uda antenna its characteristics and its working now it is clear what is antenna array and what are the two types of antenna arrays antenna arrays refers to group of antennas or antenna elements arranged in a regular structure to provide desired directional characteristics namge bekagiro tara characteristics goskara nave en martivi nammalli irthakanta antennas anna ondu regular structure alli arrange martivi ee regular structure ge navu antenna arrays anta karithivi there are two types of arrays parasitic array matte driven array so parasitic array nalli ella elements gu navu energy source anna direct agi connect maadirilla 
ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸೊ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೋರ್ಸು ಸೊ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಫೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅರ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಯಾಗಿ ಉಡ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿನ ಸೊ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ರಿವನ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಡ್ರಿವನ್ ಅರ್ರೆನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೂ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಟೂ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡ್ರಿವನ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಫೈರ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಎ ಕೊಲಿನಿಯರ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟನಾ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟನಾ ಅರ್ರೆ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಟನಾ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅರ್ವ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಲೈನ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ all the antennas are arranged or all the elements of array are arranged so ee line alli nave en madidivi antennas anna arrange madidivi so ee line ge enanta karithivi array axis athava antenna array axis anta karithivi so broad side array nalli navu okay antenna elements anna tagondidivi so it is a collinear array so collinear array andre enappa antandre all the elements of the array are arranged in a line adu horizontal line agirabodu athwa vertical line agirabodu so here the uh, array axis is parallel that is horizontal line okay so whereas we can have the vertical line also along which we can arrange the antenna elements okay so illa enagide now horizontal axis anna tagondidivi adra melgade en martidivi now ಆಂಟೆನ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಕಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಬೈ ಟು ಡೈಪೋಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಂಟೆನಾಸ್ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಬೈ ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದ್ ಆಂಟೆನೆಗೂ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಆಂಟೆನೆಗೂ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಸ್ಪೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಯೂನಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಆಂಟೆನಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಲೆಟರ್ ಡಿ so distance between any two conjugative antennas will be same okay so yavade erad antenna na tagondre so nimge en barutte so the en irutte distance same irutte okay so that is the second characteristics so matte illi as i told you so broad side array is an example for driven array so driven array nal en martivi navu ella antennas gu energy na supply martivi so illi navu ಈ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗು ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆಫ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿಯನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವೋ ಅದೇ ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ಇದಕ್ಕೂ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ವಿತ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಝೀರೋ ಫೇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗು ಸೇಮ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರೋ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ಯಾವ ತರ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ನಾನು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅರ್ರೆ ನಲ್ಲಿ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಯಾವ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ ಎ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟು ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅರ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಇದೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್
वर्टिकल लाइन आलो आज दि आंटन आक्सी फॉर् एक्सापल सो नान सो वर्टिकली सो वर्टिकल लाइन तक सो दिस वर्टिकल लाइन अला विच ई कैन अरे दलीमेंट ओके ब्रॉड सैड अरे नानब अरे एलिमेंट अरेज दिस आलो ए ब्रॉड सैड अरे सो इन विच द अरे आक्सीस इज अ वर्टिकल लाइन वर्टिकल लाइन नावेनिवी आंटेन अरेज मी सो आज ई टोल यू सो ब्रॉड सैड अरे विल प्रोड्यूस द रेडियशन इन द डरे विच इज पर्पेक्युर् टू द प्रोपोगेशन अथवा विच इज पर्पेक्युर् टू द आंटेन आक्सी ओके सो अंद्रे आंटेन आक्सी वर्टिकल लाइन के पर्पेक्युर् डरे दिस डरे सो डरे रेडियशन पैटर्न ऐन प्रोड्यूस सो दिस वाट युवर ब्रॉड सैड अरे सो वेर द आंटेन आर् अरेज अलांग ए वर्टिकल लाइन अथवा वर्टिकल आक्सी ओके सो ब्रॉड सैड अरे ना आरिसंटल आक्सल से अथवा वर्टिकल लाइन से बट वि टू कीप इट इन मैंड दट आलवे सो द रेडियशन प्रोड्यूस इन द डरे विच इज पर्पेक्युर् टू द प्रोपोगेशन आफ द वेव्स ओके अथवा अरे आक्सी के पर्पेक्युर् डरे नमगेन बरते मैक्सीम रेडियशन पैटर्न बरत ओके सो दिस अबउट युवर ब्रॉड सैड अरे सो द नेक्स्ट वन एंड फैर अरे सो एंड फैर अर आलो सेम सो इट इज आलो कोलियर अरे दिस अरे कन्सिस आफ ईडेटिकल आंटेन प्लेस प्यारल टू ईच अदर अलांगे स्ट्रईट लाइन आज इन केस आफ युवर ब्रॉड सैड अरे इो अस्ट ना अरेज ईडेटिकल आंटेन सो प्यारल टू ईच अदर अलांगे स्ट्रईट लाइन दट स्ट्रईट लाइन इज कॉल आज अरे आक्सी अथवा आक्सी आफ अरे आंटेन ओके सो इो अस्ट यूनिफारम स्पेसिंग सो बिटी एनी टू कॉन्सगेटिव आंटेन द डिस वुड बी सेम ओके अंड इट इज डिनोटेड बै द लेटर डि ओके सो दे वाट इज द डिफरे अंतर्रे ना इन केस आफ युवर ब्रॉड सैड अरे सो वि फेड आल द elements of i mean all the elements of the array with same quantity of input and with same phase difference or with no phase difference okay so but ill enagutte antandre ella elements gu same current anna i mean same source anna supply martivi but phase difference enagutte progressively vary agutte okay so how est to vary agbeku annodu namma design mele depend agutte illu ella energy source i mean ella elements gu ईक्वल आंप्लीट्यूड आफ करे ना सप्लैमी बट फेज डिफरे वेरी आगते ओके सो इन केस आफ ब्रॉड सैड अरे नालीमेंट सेम एनर्जी सोर्स सप्लैमी विथ नो फेज डिफरे अथवा विथ सेम फेज डिफरे बट इन केस आफ युवर एंड फैर अरे ऐन सेम क्वांटिटी आफ अ सेम आंप्लीट्यूड आफ करे ना इनपुट आगे सप्लैमी बट फेज डिफरे प्रोग्रेसिवली वेरी आगत ओके सो दिस अरे प्रोड्यूस डईली डरे रेडियशन पैटर्न अलांग द आक्सी आफ दि अरे सो अंद्रे सो इट इज अनदर डिफरे वे कंपेर्ड वि ब्रॉड सैड अरे सो ब्रॉड सैड अरे यरे नमेंगे रेडियशन पैटर्न प्रोड्यूस ब्रॉड सैड अरे प्रोड्यूस द रेडियशन पैटर्न इन द डरे विच इज पर्पेक्युर् टू द आक्सी आफ दि आंटेन ई मीन अरे आक्सी आफ दि आंटेन ओके आंटेन अरे आक्सी पर्पेक्युर् डरे ब्रॉड सैड अरे ऐन रेडियशन पैटर्न प्रोड्यूस वेर आज द एंड फैर अरे प्रोड्यूस द रेडियशन प्र पैटर्न इन द डरे आफ आंटेन अरे आक्सी अंद्रे आंटेन अरे आक्सी डैरे अदे डैरे नमगेन बरते रेडियशन पैटर्न बरत सो आज शोन इन द डग्राम इट इज आलो ए बै डैरे अरे सो बै डैरे अरे अंतर्रे बै अरे टू एरू डैरे एनर्जिया रेडियेट ओके सो इयर द आक्सी आफ द आंटेन इज अ वर्टिकल लाइन अंड यू सी द रेडियशन पैटर्न इट इज आलो वर्टिकल सो दट इज द मेजर डिफरे बिटवी द ब्रॉड सैड अरे अंड द एंड फैर अरे सो ब्रॉड सैड अरे नालीमेंट सेम एनर्जी सोर्स कनेक्टी विथ सेम फेज डिफरे वेर आज इन केस आफ युवर एंड फैर अरे आल दलीमेंट आर् सप्लेड विद सेम एनर्जी सो सेम एनर्जी सोर्स बट विथ 
progressive phase difference. So broadside arrhenally, nam ge radiation produce agado in the direction which is perpendicular to the antenna array axis. Whereas in case of end pair array, the radiation pattern is produced in along the array. Antenna array axis. Yaw directionally. And yaw directionally in the array axis is the directionally in the radiation pattern produced. So broadside array is also a bidirectional array, and end fire array is also a bidirectional array. So but in you end fire array na unidirectional lagi convert marbudu by properly choosing the swap phase difference. Now agle heli divi phase difference vary agate progressively in the heli divi. So progressively vary the phase difference in case of your end fire array. So proper again of phase difference and choose model in the end fire array na, now unidirectional radiation pattern obtain model the use model. So that is about your end fire array. Now let us see what are the applications of your array antennas. So the antennas and the LLE use model. Antenna arrays are widely used as a base station for mobile communication. So now we are mobiles and I use my TV. So mobiles are capable of receiving this electromagnetic waves. So all the mobile station go on the base station and say that a base station only energy and radiate mother the key. So now in my TV. So I antenna sun at the antenna arrays and a new now use my towers and tell the villa. So that is so where we will you make use of antenna. Yagi would are raised used in TV and radio application. So now my TV at the radio only. Signals and a resume mode. So in olden days, now manegal mailella in Martidvi antenna sana install Martid. Antenna sana install Martid. So the most popular antenna was the Yagi Uda antenna, which was used for so receiving the television signal and radio signal. Other is the log periodic antenna is also used for TV signal reception with wider bandwidth. And the large bandwidth was TV signal I use mode of the key. So resume mode the key now log periodic antennas and use mode. They are used in broadcasting. Broadcasting and thunder sending the same information to all the users. For example, TV. So TV nally one the other one channel new open mother. LR manelu same same program a birth. So that is called as broadcasting. So one the information and a new so many users get at the same time culture other than a broadcasting at the current. So broadcasting a little dot dot antennas and use mode. So in matter information and the same matter. So that is broadcasting matter. So they are used in radio frequency identification tags, RFID tags. So it was there. So devices can now direct again connect to Marbo. So it will receive the it will consist of transmitter and a receiver to identify the devices. So RFID tags alone now antennas and the use matter. They are used in weather research uses. You use it. Now we'll go to run again. So our man I like well. Hila Kyoru, Yavag Malabarate, Yavag Bisl Bharata and information and a portata. So that is possible because of using the antennas. So antennas and use Madi information are received Madi, they will be giving the data. They are used in missiles guide guide guidance. So missiles should the Ella Madbe Kadre. So antennas Shatrugala aircraft to Eli the Antatilkolo the K. So now antennas and a use Madi. So to send and receive the information. They are used in radar aircrafts. So radar and radio, radio detection and ranging. So SIG was to go on detect mother the care. So now aircrafts on a detect mother the care. Radar aircrafts on a detect mother the care. So we'll have to send some signal and we'll have to send some receive some signal. Athara is really radar aircrafts only now antenna sana use mark. So that's all for today's session. So in this session, we learned what is what are antenna what are what are antenna arrays, what are the two different types of antennas arrays. So and we saw about what is broadside array, what is end fire and array, and we also saw about the applications of the antennas. Okay. So now let us discuss some of the multiple choice questions which can come from this topic so in broad the first question says that in broadside array all the elements in the array should have similar dash excitation 
along with similar amplitude excitation for maximum radiation so namge gottide broad side array nalli navella elements gu same energy source anna supply martivi with same phase difference so equal amplitude irbeku matte same phase difference irbeku okay so here in a broad side array all the elements in the array should have similar dash excitation along with similar amplitude similar amplitude kottidane so naluk option kottidane phase frequency current and voltage so amplitude means either it could be current or voltage another important factor that should be same in case of broad side array it is your phase therefore the correct answer is phase next dash is the one in which principal direction of the radiation transmission is perpendicular to the axis of the array so yav array nalli namge so radiation pattern perpendicular to axis of the array baru so as we know so in case of broad side array we get the radiation pattern so in the direction which is perpendicular to the axis of the array so ili naluk option ide end fire array phased array array antenna and broad side array and the correct option is your broad side array next dash is one in which principal direction of the radiation pattern is along the axis of the array so yav array nalli so direct radiation pattern along the axis of the array nal barutte so as we know broad side array nalli perpendicular direction al barutte and end fire array nalli along the axis of the array namge radiation pattern produce agutte so therefore the correct option is the end fire array okay so that is the major difference between the end fire array and the broad side array so in the broad side array the radiation is produced in the direction which is perpendicular to the axis of the array whereas in case of your end fire array the radiation pattern is produced in the direction along the axis of the array yagi uda antenna is an example of dash broad side array end fire array parasitic array driven array okay so yagi uda dalli so nimge reflector irutte driven element irutte matte director irutte so namge eradu types gottide antenna arrays alli parasitic array matte driven array so driven array dalli ella elements ku nav energy source anna connect madirthi whereas in parasitic array not all the elements are supplied with the energy source so the feed of one element depends upon the feed of other element okay so agagi so yagi uda dalli parasitic elements irutte so it is an example of parasitic array so yagi uda is a example of parasitic array so end fire array consists of antenna spread with same magnitude of current and varying dash so end fire adalli now antennas anna so use martivi so antennas can be arranged along an line which is called as antenna array axis athwa array axis so idralli spread with same magnitude of current and varying what so we end fire array adalli now ella elements ku same magnitude of energy anna supply martivi with varying what phase so phase same irodilla so end broad side array nalli magnitude of current to same irutte and the magnitude of energy nu same irutte matte phase difference same irutte whereas in a case of end fire array magnitude of current same irutte whereas phase difference will be varying progressively vary aagtar okay so therefore the correct answer is phase so these are some possible mcqs and next i have listed some posit possible descriptive questions which can arise so in your question paper so define array of antennas explain the classification of array antennas so antenna arrays refers to group of antennas or group of el or antenna elements arranged in a regular structure to have a desired directional characteristics erred types of array antennas idave ondu driven array inondu parasitic array so in the driven array so ella elements ki energy sources anna now connect martivi whereas in parasitic array not all the elements are supplied with the energy source or not all the elements are connected to the energy source so explain broad side array with diagram and radiation pattern so i have explained the how the broad side array so you have to arrange the elements along a vertical line or the horizontal line so in which it is a collinear array so ella antennas ku madde same uh, distance irutte andre they are separated by a same distance and all the elements are supplied with same amplitude of current and the same phase difference 
in this one the radiation pattern is produced in the direction which is perpendicular to the axis uh, array axis other is the end fire array explain end fire array with diagrams and radiation pattern so broadside array go matte end fire array go there are some differences there are some similarities eradu collinear array so eradannu nevu uniformly a uh, uniformly antennas ana arrange madirthira along a line which is called as array array axis okay so in case of broadside array all the elements are supplied with same energy and same phase difference whereas in case of end fire array so all the elements are supplied with same magnitude of current and varying phase difference so a broadside array dalli the radiation pattern is produced in the direction which is perpendicular to array axis whereas in end fire array the radiation pattern is produced along the direction of array axis so list the applications of array antennas so adanna ellu use martare so base station mobile communication base station alli use martare so tv matte radio signals and receive madodakke use martare weather forecasting alli use martare radar aircraft alli use martare okay so rfid tags alli use martare okay so these are these are the applications few applications of your array antennas okay in the next class we will see the working of yagi uda antenna and the parabolic lift reflector okay so till then take care have a nice day thank you